Hey everybody. Yeah, we're replacing the hard drive in this Dell Inspiron 7568 2 in 1 laptop. Essentially, it's a laptop and it's a tablet. Um, it's roughly about a year old and actually it's still in a warranty from Dell. But, um, client did not want to send it to Dell and the way on them to get it back, you know, and all right. All that sort of stuff, so um, here it is. Hard drive is completely locked up in it. Um, client brought it to me saying that, you know it's it had a blue screen of death. I go turn it on and I hear um, the hard disk making the typical sounds it will make when it's trying to spin up but can't spin. Yeah, so hard drive is completely done in this thing. I would assume perhaps the laptop may have been may have been dropped. Who knows? But um, we're gonna go ahead and replace it, and we're also in the pro in the process we're going to upgrade this to a solid state disk. Going to a um, Samsung Evo VNAN SSD. Yeah, VNAN SSD 850 Evo 250 gig SD and solid state drive. keep these screws separate from a batch of screws I have over here from a recent teardown. We're just taking the um, screws out of the bottom of this. I believe this is one of those laptops where the whole bottom comes off and you have access to about everything you need. And also the battery is inside here as well. And all the screws that come out of the bottom of this thing are exactly the same size. And we'll gently pry between the um, the bottom and it should just pop right up. And there we go. We have access to the interior of this machine. Here's the battery. It looks to be a typical LiPo battery. Unlike older laptops that had the 18650s in them. Hard disk is right here. Now, in many cases, I would advise taking the battery out before you service anything. But I mean, <clears throat> since we're just since we're just working on the hard disk, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And of course, if you happen to work on a laptop, it's totally your call. Um, depends on what you're doing. We have three screws that hold the hard disk cage in place. Remove the connector. And the hard drive is right here. It's a 500 gig hard drive. Day manufacturer. 
19th of January 2016. But of course, um, the warranty on this hard drive will be directly through Dell. I advise the client in this case since it's a two-in-one. It's kind of you know it, it, it gets handled a lot. Um, I advise you know um, that an update to a solid-state drive would be a good idea because of course SSDs have no moving parts, are much faster, better battery life, and things like that. And the hard disk should just pop right out. There we go. Now we're going to unbox our SSD. Got this on Amazon for $99.99. Same day delivery for Prime members. This is the SSD right here. You would install it just like you would your typical hard disk. This SSD was manufactured only about maybe two weeks ago, by the way. So if you're installing a replacement hard drive, the procedure is identical to this. As these two and a half inch SSDs mount up exactly like a laptop hard disk would. And of course if you're installing this in a desktop you would need an adapter. Which they offer on Amazon they offer an adapter. I think for probably for probably a nominal fee, I don't know, I didn't check. Just put these four screws back in to secure this in place. Now, of course, in regards to taking the battery out, if you're actually doing something on the motherboard, such as taking out RAM and such like and things like that, um, you definitely would want to remove the battery for doing anything with the motherboard or things like that. But just with the hard disk, it shouldn't be no big deal. You do want to make sure that your machine is not in hibernation, make sure or your sleep, make sure it's off. Now, I'll go ahead and reinstall this. Plug in the cable. Install the three screws. Good and snug so they don't back out over time. Now I'll go ahead and reinstall the cover. Reinsert all the screws.
and we are done. We'll go ahead and um, start up the machine, but of course we're going to have to install Windows 10. As for the client's data, unfortunately at this point, there's not much I can do. I mean, because the hard disk is completely locked up. Um, there's not going to be not really gonna, not gonna be much of any chance of being able to recover any of that um, unless the hard disk manages to start up okay. Um, anyways, that is how you would go about installing or, or better yet, replacing the hard drive in this in this particular hollow one. I'm powered up. Button is on the side of it. Go ahead and start Windows 10 setup. Now I'm not going to actually include the whole process of installing Windows 10 in this video, but that is how you replace the hard disk or upgrade to a solid state drive in this particular model of of machine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeComp MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support. And thanks for watching this video.